Governor Simon Lalong of Plateau State has said the use of social media by some Nigerians is becoming a threat to the country's democracy. These people, eh? <laughs> Mr. Lanlong made the assertion of at Democracy Day dinner at government house just on Saturday. The governor said some Nigerians were using social media to propagate their personal interests at the detriment of upholding the democratic values of Nigeria. It is expedient for me to draw attention to the worrying situation where a section of the conventional media and to a large extent the social media are becoming a threat to Nigeria's democracy. People who want to pursue their personal interests are using some sections of the media irresponsible. They go about propagating falsehood, fake news, incitements, and refusing to abide by professional code of ethics. Sometimes when you follow what some people put in the social media, you wonder whether they believe in Nigeria, Mr. Lalong said. The governor said that Nigerians should be responsible, careful, and guard the country's democracy jealously. He said that Nigeria would not disintegrate contrary to the negative narratives infiltrating the polity. Nigeria will not collapse or disintegrate. Let us not dwell on our ethnic, religious, political, and ideological differences, but embrace our diversity, which is our greatest strength. When we stand together and promote justice, equity, fairness, and tolerance to one another, there will be no limits to the greatness of Plato State and Nigeria as a whole, he said. Mr. Lanlong said that the unity of Nigerians devoid of political, religious, or ethnic affiliations would help in overcoming poverty, insecurity, religious fanatism, ethnic bigotry, intolerance, lawlessness, political rascality, and corruption. He said although leadership was critical to good governance, the electorate also has a pivotal role in effecting change through selecting accountable and selfless leaders. Mr. Lalong, however, said such leaders should not be burdened to attend to personal requests or interests at the detriment of public good, adding that individuals should not be made stronger than democratic institutions. He said his administration was committed to empowering youth through its various intervention programs with government and non-governmental agencies. According to him, this will reduce youth vulnerability to crime. <laughs> so guys, uh, you've heard from uh, the governor of... Uh, of a uh, play two states and uh, have think yeah play two states so you know what one thing is that when any if there's any event like this these people they already already have their aids that write for them they only just so they will write for them and begin to <clears throat> and what I, i'm not gonna say they begin to just you know say it and tell you because they just have to say something they just have to say something of course all of the things that he has enumerated you can as a person, you can be able to digest it one after the other. You have a, your responses to all of those things that he has said. But the question is that, do they do it? It's just for them to speak and after saying it, you just, they will just go back. If you have a serious government, like I have always said, and I believe that no fake news can really thrive. But they want Nigerians to be together. They want the country to be together. Our diversity is what is giving, that, that, that is giving us strength, that will strengthen us. But... Coming together in, un in in poverty, coming together in agony, in anguish, in, in, in pain and in sorrow. Those are the things that you like. Making people uneducated, making people to know the reality of things. You, as even, uh, you are serving as a governor, only God knows how much you are collecting. And compared to developed countries, they don't even receive, as their leaders and politicians do not receive what you guys receive. The impunity that you people work with. When you talk about stealing, when you talk about the real thieves, they are in government. They see billions. We always hear that we, we have people who are committing crime individually as, as citizens. But those ones are not the ones. And we still have a, a situation whereby a lot of things are done wrongly. We have a lot of things, a lot of money being stolen. But it, it is not those who are on the street who are stealing a cup of cup or stealing for their neighbors, from their neighbors. But we have a Ogbonge thieves, correct armed robbers. They call them penned robbers. They are even worse than armed robbers. They are in government. The corruption that is there, you people have not been able to, to, 
clean yourself from all of those things. Buari said he cannot even fight corruption because if it were to be during military, because democracy is making him making it so difficult for him to fight corruption. That is what he does not even have what it takes to fight it. And they will be giving excuses upon excuses. Like I said, all of the things that the man has enumerated, they cannot do, they are guilty of 99.99% 99 .99 of the whole problems that he has enumerated. They will always come to be hitting the people. But you cannot say, which program are you talking about? You all of you you come. The every governor will come out and tell you that uh, they are doing a uh, one uh, youth empowerment program. And yet, it is all beautiful nonsense. We are see the headquarter uh, uh, Nigeria is the headquarter of people living in urgent poverty so what are you guys doing what are you guys doing like i've always said the bros, those who have ruled before those who have led before they will tell you they have done xyz but if you bring everything together where are we today it's as good as nothing so they have done nothing in the scale of one to ten you guys are just like one two one two at this age and time people want to campaign they will be telling you electricity they will tell you we are going to build roads do, do they does that make sense? Now, your problem is social media because the social media is exposing them. The social media has its own good side of it. It has its own bad side of it. Just like every other thing in this world. But because this uh, social media is exposing them just like that, they don't have any hiding place. That is why they are all angry about it. And the same set of people use the same social media to come to where, uh, to where they are today. To get to where they are today now they are telling us uh, oh those who post or whatever then those all of you who are stealing who are acting impunity you don't want to have a fresh constitution you don't have to have uh, the people you don't want to have the people's uh, constitution no uh you are the ones that are doing the right thing where do nigerians where would they categorize you well that was how we use the same social media to make you governor against all odds didn't we believe in nigeria then good question if you have said this rubbish before elections we will not even allow you to buy tickets killer has men my friend is there democracy in nigeria all we are practicing in nigeria is demo uh crazy governments of the elites by the looters and to the headsmen bandits and boko haram why the innocent suffered as you are reading this i'm expecting dss for my arrest because i said the truth but you are for the citizens as the democracy who puts you into that seat said government of the people of the people and for the people now tell them what you are insinuating it's failed leaders like you that is threatening nigeria democracy exactly and the so governor has never come to condemn the activities of killer s men killing his people no they won't do that social media is your problem not bandits and terrorists killing your people uh, that is why they reply by killing us you shall you have failed your people the very first time you call Buari your godfather nonsense so guys leave your comment down there below and let's know your thoughts thank you